What's up guys and welcome to a bonus episode of the Founder Academy. So this is just a little pack opening, a little cheeky pack opening we did. Um, we crafted about five packs including the team of the season, uh, guaranteed team of the season for Syria. I recorded the live reaction to this early and again, I'm still going through some learning lessons here with this. I was not paying attention, I deleted the live reaction. So the good news for you guys is because I'm such an even keeled guy, you're not going to get me like jumping up and throwing chairs anyway. Like I'm not the type to go out of the room screaming like Nick or anything like that. So um, you didn't really miss too much with my live reaction. Um, I don't know if that spoils who I got. I'm not going to spoil who I got. I didn't get Ronaldo. So we'll just put that out there. But, um, you know, I tried to keep it quiet on who I actually did pack. And we have a couple other packs here. I'm just hoping for any of the blues, even like the Chinese, not necessarily the Chinese league, but maybe the Eredivisie. So... Uh, we are recording this post-com. I'll try to keep my reactions as real as possible, tell you guys what I think about them. Um, but yeah, you guys know my feelings on these. If you, uh, you know, you're going to do them anyway, but unless you're prepared to get one of the bottom bottom half of the league's like players, like it's not a great value. Um, even some of the other packs that we crafted, we added in to put in quite a few like uh, tradable, like, Italian league players and the Serie A players, excuse me. And even then, like, I was kind of like, ah, do I really want to do this just to, like, get a couple packs? But I'm like, I'll do it for the video, do it for the content, you know, do one for the boys here and uh, throw some players into these packs and just make this uh, a more exciting video than it probably would have normally been. So um, I also appreciate everybody's support on the channel. So uh, people that have been um, watching the Fut Champs videos as well as just the series in general, it means a lot to me. Uh, but if you are just coming across this video, if you could hit that like button down below, that would go a very long way. I appreciate that to help grow this. And if you're not already, follow the channel. That means the world to me. So thank you guys very much. So let's get into these packs here. Um, as you guys can see there, the Syria 281 plus, the 83 rated player, which I thought was a Syria player, but again, I didn't read it and it's just an 83 plus from the entire database. And then a rare Electrum players pack, which was one of the SBCs that I think had the Champions League cards in it. So I was actually expecting like a card from this above everything and this pack was probably the most disappointing well it was the most disappointing of the whole pack opening i was really upset at this one actually because i actually don't even have that many cards from the entire database like i don't remember exactly what number it was at but like i don't have a huge amount of gold rares and the fact that like you're packing four duplicates to me is just like totally unacceptable i know it's random but like pack weights like the card weights are just so bad man like even walkouts like are so hard to come by and EA's rationale is like oh well there's more players playing so there's more cards on the market and I understand that but man it is brutal like people that put money on the game people that grind and spend all their time in the world to like open it up and get like a Saudi league 78 rated player and like a gold rare Electrum pack or rare electron pack it's just like totally unacceptable in my feelings like it's just brutal so um yeah that's my rant uh i just feel like packs are just a total waste of time right now like until they put all of those cards in for the foot birthday or not for birthday uh the fuddies i guess is that when they release everything all those special cards these packs are just going to be totally worthless because i feel like all the pack weights have just dropped to the floor I have not had any good luck with any of these Syria 81 plus ones. Um, I got that uh, Njeko there, the 84. We got Theo Hernandez in the last pack, the 83 plus. I'm just happy getting 84s, and that's really sad. But I'm happy getting any of that stuff because at least it's just like SBC fodder. The Buffon I was actually, I don't want to say I was happy with. I was kind of disappointed because like I could have used him in like an SBC yesterday. Um, but he was actually selling for like 6,300 coins or something like that, but I can't sell him because he's untradeable. And then that one was even worse, right? So I get Rugani and I can't even remember who the other player was. So it's just kind of annoying because like all of these cards would be worth something. But again, you're taking tradable assets, making them untradeable, and I don't recommend that. So uh, I'm not one to talk here because I'm doing that, but my excuse to myself was I'm doing it for the content. But this is the big boy pack, guys. This is the one you guys want to see. I saw that Slovenian flag, I thought Handanovic, and I was instantly depressed, and then I saw Ilicic, and I'm like, huh, 
you know, 96 rated. He's probably like one of the top six or seven, I guess. He's definitely in the top 10. He's only like 90K, uh, but, you know, he's one of the, I think, six highest rated or seventh highest rated or whatever. But from, I don't go by like the actual rating. I go by the actual price because the price is what gauges the actual value of the card. So uh, in terms of price, he's up there. He's probably in the top 10, but still, I use this guy on offline and guys he just was not usable like he was so stiff his pace is very fraudulent even though it was like 87 acceleration he felt slow and stiff and he's four star four star but he took nothing with his laugh like i had to this was offline man that i was playing and he just i had to really force passes to him he just didn't feel good he felt very stiff very easy to read um I don't know, maybe I just need to give him a couple more opportunities, which we will. Uh, maybe I need to put a, like an engine or something on him, but even with the engine, he was like still brutal with his balance. He got knocked off the ball really easy. I just didn't like it. I don't recommend him. He gets a big L for me, so I don't recommend going to buy him, guys. And if you pack him, it is a big L tomorrow. So that is going to be the end of the video. Uh, until the rewards tomorrow, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Thank you. Take care. Peace.